Yeah. Joe, congratulations, you retain that title and this time in real style. You must be proud of that performance. Oh, yeah, I I, had, I knew I had it in the bag from the first round off my jab. Um, I knew Matthew Marsh was a game opponent who comes to fight, but at the end of the day, I'm a boxer, and a boxer will always be a good fighter in my eyes. You mentioned the jab there, but I tell you what, we've heard of left hook Lacey, but tonight that left hook was working well for you. That's what I've been working on the gym. Jab, left screw, but I don't think I missed it once. Um, I must have been about 25 in each round. Jab, left double cutting. It worked off well and I'm, I'm ready for the next stop. Your confidence must be growing now because halfway through that you really did take complete control of that fight. Oh, I knew, I, to tell you the truth, I thought Matthew Marsh was going to fly at me and we had a game plan for him to fly at me. I was surprised that he tried to box me and tried to come forward throwing right hands. But at the end of the day, I, I'm, a, I'm a, a boxer and a boxer will always be a fighter. And next for you now, Derry, a couple of names. Amir Khan's been flown around there, but also Stephen Foster Jr. wants a shot back at his old title. I've just heard that Steve Foster's fighting Alex Arthur for the um, super featherweight title, so Foster's had the occasion. I'm going to sit down with my manager Gary and Steven and hopefully go on to big things. And Amir Khan's a lightweight, I'm only a featherweight, and I'm staying a featherweight. Thanks, Derry. All right, cheers. Thanks, Derry. Cheers, Derry.